The following Wicked Turtle Network presentation has strong language and strong content. Viewer discretion is advised. The penguins in the house. The penguins in the house. Wicked Turtle represent that Wicked Turtle Network with the new episode. Three, two, one. Here we go. What the What up, peeps? It's your boy, the Penguin. And welcome back to the show that is titled by the intro. What up, peeps? Welcome back to the show. Um, look, it's just me right now. Um, but uh, we'll get to that in a second. Let's pay some bills. Let's talk about Rays. Wicked Turtle has joined the hashtag Raise Rebellion with Raise Energy Drinks. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Raise has zero sugars with electrolytes and BCAA aminos, so hashtag Raise Up. Go to your local GNC or vitamin shop, and now also 7-Eleven, and pick up a can today, or go to repsports.com, order in bulk, Type in order code Wicked Turtle for 15% off your order, and that code will be in the description of this cast. And uh, as I always do with uh, Rays, I always like to highlight one of my favorites. And uh, since it's really nice outside and I've been making a lot of sun tea, and just like I did the last episode, I am promoting Rays Energy Sunny's Tea. Sunny's Tea. This is good stuff. Tastes like an Arnold Palmer. If you like lemonade, you like iced tea, this is good in a nice energy form. I suggest go over to repsports.com and uh, pick yourself up a, ca um, a case. And uh, make sure you use that order code of Wicked Turtle for at checkout for your 15% off of that order. They also have other things there. They have, uh, um, what do they call them? They have pancake mix, basically. It's like protein mix. Uh, they also have... Uh, uh, pre-workout and a lot of your workout supplements they have. So go ahead. I, I implore you to go over to, uh, repsports.com, check them out. And then if you do buy something, please, uh, uh, use, uh, the code wicked turtle and you'll get 15% off. I'll make a couple of bucks. You'll save a couple of bucks, which is pretty awesome. Uh, welcome back to the show. As you notice in the title, there is no Duke in that title. Uh, it's just me again. Uh, the Duke has decided to take his stuff and go and do his own thing and on his own channel and and just make his own content, which is cool. Uh, without any help, he wants to do it. He learned a little bit here, and he thanked me for doing all that stuff, and then he went over to his channel, and that's what he's doing. I, um, I can show you uh, one thing. Uh, I'll, I'll do it for this, this episode, but a, a link to his... Um, channel will be in the description of this cast so i'll make sure that we put that in there but here go ahead there you go guys it's called steven's corner uh it's on his youtube channel which is not the name of the steven corner but this is the show that he's been doing uh it was pretty cool i liked it he did uh he did an episode there with some uh with an energy drink and he was talking about uh crater's clash which was kind of cool so I, I actually watched it. It was really awesome. And uh, I don't have any bad or ill will feelings against the dude. If he wants to go do his own stuff, that's awesome. That's on him. Um, he doesn't want my help. That's fine. Um, so he's off doing his own thing. And I'm back with me still carrying the flag. And like I tell everybody all the time, you guys can go try to do whatever you want to do. But I'm still going to be here. I'm still going to do my thing. And uh, this is what I like to do. And I have the equipment for it and why not, you know? So this is what I do. And I'm, I'm glad that you guys have stayed and stuck around for this show and for other shows that I've had, but talking about other people who's been on the wicked turtle network, that's branched off and did their own little thing. Uh, here you go, guys, uh, check out, um, HCW spring break, which is on YouTube right now. It's on their YouTube page. That, that, uh, link will be in the description of the cast. Um, I, I had the opportunity to watch it. It's, it's a good show. 
Uh, you know who it is, the kilowatt, one of the co-founders of Wicked Turtle. It's one of his, it's, it's his baby. So he's, he's done a really good job over there and did a really good job of producing that show. And, and of course the whole team of, of over there at HTW and all, when I say team, I also mean the performers too, all did a wonderful job on that. So go check that out. I'll provide that link in the description. Also another link I'll put in, uh, but you're already watching this, but I'll put a link. So it's a, so it's a nice hyperlink that you guys can click on too. Um, I also did another review. I, I did a review, uh, for the Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream review. I'd like for you guys to check that out. It was, it hands down. It was probably one of my favorite sodas. Uh, I gave it well, I, I'll let you check out the score. I don't want to give away the score, but go ahead and go over there, check it out, do, do some stuff. So check that out. And there's some other content up there. I also posted a, uh, I did a, a live stream. I live streamed um, Stranded Deep the other day, which was kind of cool. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. But uh, yeah, the, um, uh, 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 that's a cool game. It's a very cool video game. Uh, I do have some games coming in, in the pipeline. Um, I'm supposed to be getting Harry Potter eventually. I'd like to stream. I'd like to stream, um, was it Tears of the Kingdom? Zelda when I get it. I'm not getting it right now. I'm just chilling right now for that because uh, there's a couple games I need to buy. And Tears of the Kingdom is like 70 bucks. which when did that happen? I thought they were 60 They went up $10. Weird. But, uh, yeah, we'll be getting those games on the network soon. So we'll be doing some cool stuff like that. Also, starting here probably within the next week or so, we're also going to have a new uh, show. Um, I'm not going to quite give it away, but I'm just going to tell you, Hey, there's going to be a new show. I'm still working on the graphics on it and yeah, here we go. I mean, we're, we got some new shows in the pipeline. I also, you know, there's also, I'm still trying to work on the spotlight, but I guarantee it that that's probably going to wait off till the fall, August fallish, because it is just busy for me for the next couple months. I have a lot of trips with the fam, and yeah. So uh, let's let's do a little update. Let's do some uh, in the news, the Wicked Turtle news. Uh, this is kind of like the segment where I'm like update my life and stuff like that, and you know that that's my newsworthy, <laughs> basically. But uh, here we go. There's little penguin right there. He doesn't look too happy, right? That's because he is in a spelling bee right here. He he was selected out of. One out of 15 students out of his, uh, well, out of, I think, 75 students, something like that, but 15 out of 75, and he was one of them. So he was selected for that. Um, he did okay. And I was just proud of him that he actually was able to uh, get to that stage. And Because I've never been selected for something like that. I, I went to singing competitions for the state, but other than that, I've never been to, like, a spelling bee for school or something like that. I was never scholastically the best. <laughs> Um, that's because I didn't apply myself, uh, apply myself. So as kids out there, just apply yourself to school, give yourself, uh, the right amount percentage, make sure you, make sure you get a good enough sleep. And, um, yeah, school is very important. And I'll, and this is coming from a man who's been around for, I, don't know, I give my age all the time, been over 40 years now. School is very important. You need schooling. You need that to go to make the good money, to, to have the good life and live the dream. So please stay in school, everybody, and please pay attention to school. But um, my wife and I were off that day after that. So we went and we had a nice little day for ourselves. We stopped at the, I think it's called the Crapery here in Lebanon. Um, it's in a new little development out here by the Sheets. I think it's what, Rockety Road, I think it is. But uh, yeah, um, we had some breakfast. There were crepes. We had iced coffee. Um, there was mine. I had a bacon, egg and cheese, crepe, savory. Uh, that place was good. The coffee was good. The, the crepery was good. Like the crepe was good. Like it was all delicious and I highly recommend it. I probably might do a review on it. We'll see. But, um, definitely if you're in Lebanon or passing through Lebanon and you want a nice little delicious snack or meal, that you can eat outside, which is very beautiful in that area right there because it's a whole new development that they're growing out there. And check that out. It's very awesome place. That would definitely, definitely a thumbs up for me. Uh, but then uh, the next day, 
on Saturday, we had scout day and we went to Knobles and I don't know if, if, if you've ever been to Knobles, if, um, comment below, if you guys have ever been to Knobles, uh, amusement park, I love Knobles. It's one of those pay as you go ride type things. It's free admission, free parking. Where do you find that at nowadays? You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm saying? Like the, the food is good. Like there's really not a bad thing to say when the crowds get along. It's such a big and wide space that crowds aren't really the biggest issue. Like say for like Hershey park, for instance, when you're in there and it's like, you know, you're like shoulder to shoulder, you know, but here it's like, you have some space. If you want to, you could have a little, you could even bring food with you if you wanted to and have like a little picnic or something. If you get there early, I suggest get there around like nine 30, 10 ish. Um, so you can get in there and get a good parking spot, uh, park close, so especially if you're going to have some food in a cooler or something like that, that you're going to, you want to like ha hang out and eat. Some people bring like, like the, uh, when I was there, they, they had like a hammock, they set up a hammock and they were just hanging out for the day while their family went and did stuff and <laughs> they went out and did shit. And they like, I saw them like just hanging out in the hammock. Like that, I thought that was kind of cool. So like you can do stuff. It's very loose. Um, if you want an all day pass, they have all day passes that you can go on limited rides or I think it's like you pay like 50 bucks for, I don't know if it's 50 bucks. It might be 50 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. I don't quite know on the prices. If, if you know, you guys know the prices exactly. And you've been there, please comment below um, on what the prices are for the ticket books. You can get a ticket book and here's what's cool about the ticket books. The passes, they run out. All right. But the ticket books, if you get a ticket book, you can go up any time in the year with that ticket book as long as you have that because each ride has a percentage of how much money that that ride costs. So you get a ticket book with like dollars and 50 cents and 25 cents and whatever. And the, each ride will say, hey, this ride to ride this ride is one dollar. You would give off a, a dollar ticket and then you would give it to them and boom, that that would be the ride. You would go on the ride. So it's 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 a very cool amusement park. It's set in a valley. There's like two mountains in between it. So it's nice and cool breeze. It comes off the mountains, keep you nice and cool. They do have a swimming pool, which is amazing. I don't know how much it costs to get in the swimming pool, but they do have a swimming pool, which is kind of cool. Um, it's huge, too. Like I was looking at it when I was there. It's a very big swimming pool. But it's such a great park to go to. And I talk very highly of this. Wednesdays is all you can eat spaghetti day. So if you go up there, you can have all you can eat spaghetti. Um, I had a half a chicken. What was it? Half a chicken. Uh, apple. Uh, no, filling, stuffing, uh, and uh, mashed potatoes on, on a plate there. Like, it was delicious. I was full. The only issue I had that day was I got real sick. Like, my stomach started to go get a little queasy. Maybe I shouldn't have had that big little bit, big meal. Uh, but my stomach was a little queasy, queasy, so we had to end it a little bit early. Like, or I went out and sat out in Tesla for a little bit and rested while my family finished up what they were doing. But it was a good day. Like I had a good time that time. And then the next day was really awesome. Um, was Mother's Day, and then we went out for Mother's Day. Um, my son woke up early in the morning. Uh, he made a coupon book for my wife, and oh, did I? He made a coupon book for my wife, which was very cool. Like it was, it was a cool thing, man. Like he did, and it, it said little things like, uh, like she, she can turn in like cool stuff, you know, stuff for, for something to do later, you know? And it was, it was a really cool, I'm telling you, it was a really cool thing, man. Like he did a good job. I was very impressed with him, man. Like he did a fantastic job of this stuff. Like, he was very nervous. Like he really wanted to do it. Like he waited up at night. Like I let him stay up at night because he was planning this big old thing. And I told him, I'm like, cool, man. I mean, this is awesome. Like, is this something you should be doing? Like, and he, it was really cool for him. Like he was, he planned the whole thing. I, I hats off to him. You know what I'm saying? Um, I didn't do a lot. I didn't buy her a lot of things. I did take her out to eat, but um, I made her this. Uh, it's a, it was a omelet basically with ham and cheese. And I made a special sauce that says, we love you on it. And I thought that was kind of cool. 
And then uh, we picked up my mom then, and we went out for Chinese food. Uh, it was packed. Jesus, it was packed. This is why I like to do cookouts on Mother's Day, because, you know, it's not packed in my house. But it was packed. So we picked her up. There she is. She's, as you guys know, if anybody knows me, she's getting up on her age. And, but it's it was wonderful to to take her out. She, she ate two plates of food. I was impressed. I was like, holy crap. Uh, <laughs> my mom ate like two plates of food. She never she's not a big eater lately. But um, it was I was impressed that she ate good. My aunt Sheila came. Uh, she brought some. Uh, she met us back where my mom lives at at the at the place, and she made uh, she had a, she had a cake for. Her. And some flowers, which was awesome. And it, all in all, I think my mom had a very good day, and my wife had a really good day too. It was a good time. And then during the week, of course, we have the work stuff. Um, I did make some food. Um, this was one of the foods I made. This was some balsamic glazed chicken with some Mexican street corn and some mashed potatoes. Phenomenal dinner. Um, on Friday, um, at the end of the week. I went to, here we go, I went to Hershey Chocolate World with my client, and I had a good time, and you can see that was just fun, and we had, um, look, I was a cocoa bean right here, <laughs> we ate lunch there, and uh, right now, in, during the month of May, which this is going to come out, this is going to come out in May, but um, they had these. This is a uh, smoked brisket with a chocolate barbecue sauce and chocolate cocoa dusted snacks. In those snacks was pretzels and tortilla chips. And when you look at that, I'll split it back up real quick. When you look at that, and I'm sorry if you're listening, you can't see it. It's actually a picture of, of what I just described of the smoked brisket and the chocolates, chocolate barbecue sauce and the cocoa dusted snacks. But when you look at those snacks, they were, how do I put it? When you see tortilla chips, you're like, oh, cocoa on tortilla chips? What? It was good. It was really good. Take this from a guy who, hold on, who reviews food. It was delicious. It was really, really good and very impressive. And yeah, um, we did get a... Uh, an awning or not an awning it was it's an umbrella it's a solar powered umbrella so when you flip the switch there's lights on it i don't know if i have a picture of that i might let's see if i have a picture of that oh no i do hold on but no we did um here i'll show i'll show you one thing here guys there you go see i i i've been sitting outside our table we have a table out there um my dog's been loving it because he gets to run and play and stuff like that. And I've been eating my lunches, my dinners, my breakfasts, drinking the coffees. And yeah, it's it's one of those things that has been, it's my little safe space. I know I put a po picture up of it the last time of my of my little campsite, basically, that I made there, which is awesome. But it's been my little safe space. Here's a picture of the new umbrella. We have the umbrella up there. And on the top of it, which again, I'm going to describe this for our listeners. On top is a solar panel with, um, there's a rechargeable battery in there. And as you, and it's what a great idea. And they put a lighting system in it. So then at nighttime, you can flip the switch and there's lights that go on it with it underneath the umbrella, which is kind of cool. Um, it's awesome. It that the My backyard is really, really awesome now. And uh, we're going to be looking forward uh, here Memorial Day weekend doing our first camping in our camp in our camper so that's going to be fun and i'm very excited about that but let's get to our and that's enough about me by the way uh let's get to the homework homework for me was uh i watched the new super mario brothers movie now that i've already watched it twice now i've watched it once in the movie theater with the little penguin and once now it's out now so out now uh, you can, uh, I don't, it's, I don't think it has a streaming home yet, but you can, uh, rent it. It is rentable right now. You can do that. And, uh, and I have champions. So I'm going to start with champions first. Champions is, uh, on Peacock right now. 
And if you guys don't know what quite the, what I'm talking about, it's it's Woody Harrelson stars in this movie. Uh, he stars with people who have mental disabilities, and he coaches a basketball team. Now he's kind of like a disgruntled basketball coach at first, and yeah, to to get the idea or the gist of this movie, think Mighty Ducks meets basketball. We'll do that. Um, yeah, Mighty Buck, Mighty Ducks meet basketball. We'll just think of it like that. Um, except also dealing with people with mental disabilities. I work in the, in that field. Um, it's something I, that I specialize in. It's one of my, it's, it's my full-time job that I do besides, uh, entertaining, uh, my public here on, on the YouTubes. But, um, yeah, so I'm in this world. I know this world very well. And this movie was delightful. It was a lot of fun to watch. Funny, really funny. Um, it had a lot of jokes and and it, not just jokes of like from like Woody Harrelson, but jokes from like the the people that participated, like the people who has meant because they have mental people with mental disabilities that are there, real actors um, that have these mental disabilities. And it was it was it was fun to watch. It was a really fun movie. I you know it's something that I'm like wow, this is like something that. I was impressed. I, I I mean, I had high hopes when I seen the trailer, but it, it went above and beyond for me. So uh, I highly recommend watching this movie. I'm not going to give too much away as spoilers because I want to get into the Mario movie. But uh, for my rating for this, and this is one I'll watch again. So I'm going to give this an 8.5 to a 9. This is right in that, 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 that wheelhouse of an 8.5 to a 9. So, um, I can't be quite just, I, you know, my rating scale is always 8.5 or up, but, uh, I, I can tell you right now, it's definitely a highly recommendable movie from the penguin. And, uh, one of my surprise features, um, I think that I think people will enjoy. It's a very enjoyable movie. It was a lot of fun to watch. So let's get to super Mario brothers movie. Wow. When this first was, uh, announced, I was very happy for this movie to come out because uh, they didn't do a very good job. People hasn't do, done a very good job of how do I put it? Making a good Nintendo movie, you know? I've expected Now I expected that when they make a cartoon, there's there's quite a ceiling that you have to hit when it comes to cartoons. You know, it has to be enjoy. I, I feel nowadays in this new world that we live in, this new era of movie watching that we live in, if you're going to make a cartoon, it should be because who's taking your kids to cartoons? The adults. So it should hit with kids and adults, I feel. Now, you can have just kid-centric stuff, which is cool, but I feel like lately with some of the movies like Frozen's and Moana's and, you know, Wally and stuff like that, they, they've hit these things where they have not just cater to the adults, but also to the kid, the kids and adults both. So it's a both thing. When I was growing up, it was all kiddie stuff. So, but in this movie, they had such... Easter eggs that is just crazy. And if you've if you bought this movie, I, 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 I you should buy it. Right now it's the number one grossing cartoon. It has surpassed Frozen. It is the number one grossing cartoon ever animated, or shouldn't you say cartoon? Animated feature out there. It is not it, it is just blew everything around away. Uh top grossing as of right now is close to 800 million. It's a lot. It's a lot. It made a ton of money. Almost on number one movie ever. It's working close to that. But, I mean, you have a cast that is just amazing. Chris Pratt, Jack Black, uh, Charlie Day, Seth Rogen. Uh, was it Keegan-Michael? Uh, Fred Emerson. And the list just goes on and on and on of people that was in this movie that was just amazing in this movie. 
it is the Easter eggs. Like they start you off right away, like with the Mario Brothers and plumbing. It's a game. Like I was like, that is the TV show. That the TV show was awesome, and they showed them like flying in the air with a cape and stuff. Like if you ever watch Super Mario Brothers Super Show, and you're one of those kids like I was, then you'll understand what I'm talking about, and. You get so goosebumpy and nostalgic from it because it, because you when you hear that song, I love that song. That Mario Brothers rap is is great. You know, with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's our game. You know, <laughs> if you think it's in trouble, you can call us in the double. You'd be hooked on the brothers. What? <laughs> See, it's, 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 I'm laughing right now because it's amazing, amazing little rap that, that they did. Also, little things like it was like Punch Out Pizza, and and it was like all nostalgic Punch Out characters that was in there and around it when they opened that up. Um, Luigi's ringtone on his on his phone was the sound of the GameCube opening. It's freaking what? Uh, the the boss that was in um, um, in the beginning where they're like where they quit their job. They do, they used to work at a job called Wrecking Crew, which is like the very first Mario game. They had Jumpman in it. Uh, the the guy who did Wahoo, that was the the original actor of Mario in all the games. Um, just so much st- stuff. They even had like adventure, and they 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 appeased to adults. And they also appease to younger crowds who's like, I don't know who the Mario rap. I've never seen Super Mario Brothers Super Show. They appease to adults by doing like, uh, how do I put it? Like, uh, or not, not adults, to kids with like doing like little things with like Mario Galaxy. And they also had some tidbits of um, uh, Adventure Toad and stuff like that. Yeah, there's a movie that comes around just once in a while, and you kind of figure like, okay, this is going to be the movie to watch. It's like it happened with like Avengers Endgame, for instance. It was like one of the movies to watch. And yeah, this is definitely one of those movies. And for me, I got to give this a score. And for my score for this, it's it's going to be a high one. And I'm going to tell you right now, it is going to be... Uh, this, I'm going to have to give it a 10. I'm sorry. This is a perfect movie for me just because it's just one of those movies that it's like, I can't stop watching it. I watched it twice. I want to watch it again. It is really good. I can't wait to see the, the multiverse of it. Um, the end credit scenes that they had was fantastic. So I'm excited for the next lineup of Nintendo movies. I love their games. I have a Switch. I play all the games. I play all Mario's. I love all those games. And I'm excited to see this universe. I'm excited to see if they're going to bring in a Zelda. There's talks about a Wario. There's there's so many franchises that could be turned into a movie with Nintendo that I think the sky's the limit now with them. So, yeah, that's a perfect score for me. It's got to be a 10. I'm sorry. I cannot go any lower than that. It is just... A perfect movie to watch with your children, with your family. Um, we're going to be talking about this movie for for years to come, and I'm very excited for what's the co- what is to come up next. So, all right, let's move on to uh, our promotions now. And like I said, I already promoted um, the Duke stuff in the beginning and High Tension, but uh, let's do some. Uh, promoting now for wicked turtle and uh i I just tell you check out wicked turtle network we're on youtube we're on instagram we're on facebook um we're also on twitter at wicked turtle net and we're also on tiktok at the wicked turtle network um check us out socials and links to all them will be in our link tree in our description click on the link tree you'll see all those um but uh, I don't. I always want to keep these nice and short and sweet. Um, you can actually, if you want to follow me, you can. I'm at the one and only penguin. I'm on most uh, socials, Instagram. Um, 
I think I'm on Twitter. Is that no, no? I'm Penguin Man five thousand on Twitter. I need to change that to the one and only Penguin. I want to make it all one thing. But uh, Instagram definitely the, at the one and only Penguin. Uh, you'll see me there on that. Oh yeah, and TikTok, TikTok. I'm at at the one and only Penguin there. So, uh, but uh, Twitter, I'm gonna probably upgrade that here, update that here soon. But uh, yeah, check check me out. Check out the Wicked Troll Network. Please subscribe. Please uh, hit the bell so you guys know when I upload. And uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank everybody for listening, everybody for watching. If you're watching, please check out some of my other content that I have. Um, you won't be uh, you won't be uh, displeased with the stuff that I have. I have some really good stuff, uh, some really good reviews on uh of really good food reviews and some stuff coming in the pipeline that's going to be pretty cool so um check us out give us a subscribe give us a like give us a share and all that jazz and um uh, thanks for stopping by tonight and uh that's what's up blah blah thank you for tuning in to another wicked turtle network exclusive follow us on all things wicked by clicking the link tree in the description of this video. I'd like to take the time now to thank Raise Energy Drinks as being the official sponsor of the Wicked Turtle Network. Raise Energy Drinks gives you fresh, which stands for focus, recovery, energy, stamina, and hydration, with giving you no crash. Raise Energy Drinks has zero sugar, electrolytes, and BCAA aminos. Hashtag raise up and go to your local GNC vitamin shop and get yourself a raise or go to repsports.com and where you can order all your raise in bulk by putting in promo code wicked turtle for 15 percent off your order and that will be in the description of this video